Thank you. On this vote, the yeas are 352, the nays are 65, one present, two-thirds being in the affirmative. The rules are suspended. The bill is passed. And without the objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. Thank you. Uh, TikTok is a threat to our national security because it is owned by ByteDance, which does the bidding of the Chinese Communist Party. We know this because ByteDance leadership says so and because Chinese law requires it. This bill therefore forces TikTok to break up with the Chinese Communist Party. It does not apply to American companies. It only applies to companies subject to the control of foreign adversaries defined by Congress. Third point. Unfortunately, when TikTok has appeared before Congress, whether it's before the House Energy and Commerce Committee or otherwise, it has not been candid, my friends. It has not been candid. First, TikTok said its data is not accessible to China-based ByteDance employees. False. China-based employees routinely access this data, even unbeknownst to employees of TikTok USA. The gentleman from Kentucky Reserves, I believe he has three minutes. Three and a half minutes available. But the bill is written so broadly that the president could abuse that discretion and include other companies that aren't just social media companies. The representative is recognized for four minutes. Thank you, Mr. There are dangers that lie ahead in this. This is really about controlling Americans' data. And if we cared about Americans' data, then we would stop the sale of Americans' data universally, not just with China. There's some further issues. This is a Pandora's box. What's to stop Congress or the United States government in the future from forcing the sale of another social media company claiming that it's protecting Americans' data from foreign adversaries?